Loads of news today from across the cruise industry, including violent protests that have led to cruise port cancellations. I'm going to get you the top 10 cruise news updates from across the cruise industry, and I'm going to get you the information fast, coming up. Welcome to the Travel Scouts. My name is Jason and we are your cruise information channel. We get you the cruise news and information you're looking for quickly without wasting your time. So if you love cruising, consider subscribing. Let's go ahead and kick things off with number one. We have a sad update regarding the Carnival Glory cruise passenger that was reported as missing on Monday morning. Carnival Cruise Line has confirmed that they found surveillance footage showing the 28-year-old man climbing onto a lifeboat and jumping off the ship from deck number four. This occurred at approximately 1.40 a.m. on Monday morning. So why did it take so long for Carnival to confirm that a passenger went overboard as opposed to just a missing person report? Well, Carnival released a statement noting that only on Tuesday were we advised of the possibility of him wearing a different shirt. This allowed our security team to change the profile of the guest as we searched onboard video. So certainly sad news. Let's definitely pray for the young man's family. Number two, Region Seven Seas has taken delivery of their newest ship, the Seven Seas Granger. Here is the ship. Region is Norwegian's luxury cruise brand. The Seven Seas Granger can carry 746 passengers, and the first cruise is set to launch from Italy on November 18th. The christening ceremony will be in Port Miami on December 10th. Moving on to number three, the Sky Princess cruise ship had to cancel a port call at the last minute. The ship was within sight of the Portuguese island of Ponta Delgada. However, it was at that time that they were informed that the pilots who worked the port were part of a union that was going on strike. So the ship had to redirect its course and keep cruising. This was the Sky Princess's last European stop on its current transatlantic voyage from Southampton, England to Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Next, with sad news, number four, a crew member has gone overboard from the MSE Seascape cruise ship. This occurred at approximately 9 p.m. last night. The 30-year-old Indian national was reportedly seen going overboard from a height of about 32 feet above the water. The MSE Seascape was going from Puerto Rico to the Dominican Republic at the time. The main overboard signal was sounded very quickly after the incident, and both the cruise ship and the Coast Guard began to search. There has been no success finding them yet. We pray they will be found safe. Then, number five, Royal Caribbean has indicated that they have plans to build some smaller ships. The information came from the captain on board the Radiance of the Seas cruise ship during a Q&A segment. Royal Caribbean currently has about a dozen ships that are on the small side, but each of these are 20 years old or more. And there are still a lot of cruisers that prefer a smaller ship. And that is when the Royal Caribbean captain hinted that within five to six years, we should begin hearing about a new class of smaller ships that is being referred to internally as the Discovery class. It will be interesting to hear more about these ships. Okay, we have five cruise news pieces remaining, including the top headlines of the day. But quick question, chime in down below. Speaking of cruise ship sizes, here's the question. Which of these cruise ship sizes would you prefer? Would you prefer ships that carry A, 3,000 passengers or less, or B, 5,000 passengers or more? Chime in down below with your answer. Notice that I didn't leave the middle ground in there, so would you rather go to the big or to the small? Which would you prefer? I will look forward to reading that, but now, on with the cruise news. Number six, Carnival Cruise Line has canceled even more cruises on the Carnival Panorama cruise ship. The Carnival Panorama has already had to cancel four cruises. This is because of issues the ship is having with its max speed. And the cruise line just announced that they will now have to cancel two more. The cruises scheduled for December 9th and December 16th will now not be sailing. The impacted guests for these two cruises will be receiving a full refund and a 50% future cruise credit. Then number seven, Thanksgiving is next week. So let's look at what days are forecasted to be the worst days to travel. Thanksgiving is on Thursday, November 23rd. If you are driving, the worst day on the roads will be Wednesday the 22nd. If you are flying, Tuesday the 21st and Wednesday the 22nd will be packed at the airports. Sunday the 26th will also be a busy day at the airports as people are returning home. So if you have a cruise coming up and you can plan your travel to port around these bottlenecks, it may be wise to do so. Moving on to number eight, there has been a tragedy in Nassau, Bahamas. Around 11 a.m. yesterday, a double-decker tour boat going to the Blue Lagoon Island excursion hit some rough sea, took on water, and sank. 
The boat was only in about 20 feet of water at the time and other boats came to their rescue very quickly. Kelly and I have done that excursion multiple times and it is one of the most popular options in Nassau. According to a statement from Blue Lagoon, all passengers on board the boat were from cruise ships and very sadly, one 75-year-old woman did lose their life in the incident. The Blue Lagoon also noted that two additional cruise passengers were taken to a local hospital. So certainly prayers for this lady's family and from the reports that I have received, her husband was by her side at the time. And it is also not known how this will impact the future of Blue Lagoon. Will they be required to cease operations for an investigation? Will there be changes to their operation? All of this is unknown. Stay tuned for updates. Next, number nine, I want to get you a quick hurricane season update. The Eastern Pacific remains clear. However, there continues to be one weather system of concern in the Caribbean. It is marked on this map by the orange X. And it is now being given a 40% chance of cyclone formation in the next 48 hours. This could be one of the final big storms of the hurricane season, so stay tuned for updates. Then, number 10, violent protests have caused cruise ships to cancel a port of call. The port that has been impacted is the port in Cologne, Panama. This is a popular stop for ships that transit the Panama Canal and those that visit the Southern Caribbean. However, in recent weeks, there has been protests that have led to road closures and violent clashes with authorities. It all has to do with a new mining agreement between the government and a mining company. The security concerns led the Carnival Conquest cruise ship to reassess the safety of visiting the port. And as a result, they decided to cancel. A lot of cruise passengers were disappointed with that decision. However, they understood that definitely safety comes first. Okay, subscribe and turn the notification bell on to stay up to date with the latest cruise news and information. The next video will be coming out soon. But until then, keep on cruising and we'll catch you in the next video.